Hello there and welcome back to our channel. In our previous video, we used character controller to give our game object, the player, the ability to move using the WASD keys. Now, in today's video, we are going to make the camera look through the eyes of the game object, as seen in FPS games. So, let's begin. first thing we'll be doing is moving the camera to the game object. Go to player, right click, click copy component. This copies the component of transform, that is the location of the player game object. Now go to the camera and click paste component. Now you'll see that the camera has moved to the position of the player. Since we want the camera to be the eyes, we'll lift it a bit. Now, if we try to move the player around, you will notice that the camera does not move with the player. To allow it to do so, let's drag and drop the camera into the player game object. Now, on hitting play, the camera is moving with the player. Now, our next task is to make the camera move around and follow the cursor. Go down here and right click. Add a C-sharp script. Let's call it look around. Double click to open in Visual Studio. Float mouse X equal input get access mouse X. This means that as we move the mouse along the X axis, it updates the variable. Let's do the same for Y. Now we also have to set a sensitivity to this mouse action. Let's keep it public so we can change it in the inspector. And multiply it to the input. To make this compatible with varying FPS, let's multiply with time dot delta time. Repeat this for Y. Now, we will make the camera rotate around the y-axis. That is, when our mouse moves to the left or right, the camera will pan accordingly. Let's first create a reference in the script. Public transform player body. Now remember, we are rotating about the y-axis. So we'll use rotate. Now, save it. Drag and drop the script into the camera game object and drag and drop the player over here on the right. As you can see, by moving the mouse left or right, we can make the camera pan accordingly. Let's now make it pan up and down. We will have to repeat the same steps just for Y. We need to set the rotation value to the camera. Clearly, the camera is no longer the global axis. We will be using the Quaternion and Euler angles to make it pan up and down. To prevent an apparent topple of the player, we will clamp the X values using the MathF clamp. Now we have clamped it between minus 90F and 90F. Now the only thing left to do is to lock the mouse cursor. Go to start. Now we'll use cursor dot lock state equal to cursor lock mode dot locked. Save this. And now let's test it. As you can see, we are able to pan around using the mouse perfectly. Thanks for watching this video. 
I hope this helped you out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tune in next week for another tutorial.